Hi, Leos. Happy birthday to those of you who will um, have your birthday at the end of July. So we are going to look at the main theme for the month, where you should be focusing your energy, what your challenges are, and what you need to release. And the challenges and what you need to release might be actually super important this month, just for the simple fact that we will be in a Mercury retrograde for a lot of it. Um, we are going to be looking at money and career, because on the Facebook page, I ask, what is the most important thing for you guys to have in the reading this month? And um, that was what most people voted for. And then we'll be looking at our love life. So we'll look at love life. We will look at um, for singles as well as couples and then undefined relationships, which could be either on again, off again. It could be a polyamorous relationship. It could be something new that maybe you haven't made it Facebook official yet. Okay. So let's get started. Um, so for Leo's, the main theme for the month is not actually anything super spiritual. Um, this month, you might not want to focus so much on your spirituality. They're saying this month is more about receiving things, but those gifts, those blessings, um, loving communication and stuff is going to come slowly for you. So being open to something as simple as compliments, but something as huge as a new relationship, for example, okay? Um, people will be trying to either give you gifts or love in one way or in a, another, and this month is about learning how to receive that, okay? Where should you be focusing your energy? And they say this should be on communication, actually. Speaking your truth. Um, the biggest challenges for you this month are having to be patient, waiting for things to pay off, and then what is it you need to release this month? Um, and they're saying this this feeling of like justice, okay? Um, because sometimes we outwardly focus these concepts of like what goes around comes around, right? So if somebody betrayed you, you might be kind of like focused on, okay, what's going on with them? Like, I'm wondering, like, is karma going to hit them? Um, and they're like, let's focus more on how it's going to hit you in a positive way. Like all of the times that you did something really kind or loving for another person, um, let's focus on that, right? Let's focus a little bit less on what's going on with other people and more on what's going on with us and how things worked out to our benefit. They're saying whatever you're giving out, this is actually a super lucky month for you that you could be receiving it. So, you know, perhaps you tried really, really hard in a relationship that didn't work out and that was like three years ago. All of a sudden this month, there might be tons of karmic rewards for you that come in the form of like a new awesome relationship or that come in the form of like, some crazy financial windfall. It could show up in different ways. But karma will be coming back to you this month. Um, so keep very close eye on the way that you're expending your energy. Okay? So if you're expending your energy a lot focusing on other people, then you might notice that a lot of people start focusing their energy on you, which is awesome if you're doing really well, right? But if you have anything that you're so self-conscious about or like that you're struggling with, people are going to notice those flaws a lot more. And so that's something important for Leos to keep in mind. Um, so and that's kind of like energy that we want to release. Anything else that we need to release. And they're just saying, um, let endings just be totally ended, basically. Um, things that are done, things that we no longer need in our life, people, um, you know, mindsets, jobs, whatever, let it all go. It's okay. Endings are simply new beginnings. That's it. Um, okay, so in regards to money and career, they say shift the way that you're thinking about things. There's this cycle that you're in that isn't going to be over for a little while here, okay? But we might be kind of fooling ourselves. We might not be completely honest with ourselves about the way that the situation is actually playing out. So, um, for example, you're like, oh man, you keep saying, I'm so broke, I'm so broke. Well, if you're actually able to pay all of your bills, like to continue to pay your rent and stuff like that, actually you're pretty fortunate, you know? Um, 
things like that. Because we don't want this to be a self-fulfilling prophecy. What we think about expands. What we think about, we bring about. Okay, so they're like, think about the ways that these um, things are working out for you in regards to career or money. You know, I never get the promotion. Um, well, if you think that, that's going to be a self-fulfilling prophecy. You're going to be bypassed again. Um, the way that we can reframe situations that are currently happening or that have already occurred is just like trying to remember the benefit of them. Okay, so um, it sucks to pay bills, right? So when I'm sitting here on my laptop and I'm paying my electricity bill and I'm like, oh fuck, I'm not gonna have any money left. Um, instead I can be like, I'm so thankful that I'm able to pay this. I'm so thankful um, that I have electricity. You know, cause some people don't. Some people don't even have a place to live where they could pay an electricity bill. And so this is like, you know, some ways to shift the way that we're thinking about it. Um, what else for money and career? Basically, they're like, whatever you give, you're going to receive. So if you go to work with a positive attitude and you work really hard, you shall be recognized for it. But if you're going to go to work like with dread and like kind of just like look at Facebook all day, um, you're definitely not going to reap rewards. Um, so it's one of these very karmic months, um, especially in regards to money um, and your career as to how things are going to play out for you. So let's say you're very, very generous um, with waitresses, okay? You, instead of giving like the standard 15%, you're given 30. Um, you might not, you shouldn't be surprised then when there's a bonus in your check or when, um, you know, some bill that you typically pay is significantly less than usual. So that's kind of what's going on here. They say like a lot of you have fear or anxiety about money this month and it's not helping. It doesn't change the outcome. Like worry um, doesn't really fix it. And so if we can try to shift the way that we think about it, we'll be in a better place or at like what's the worst thing that's going to happen if you shift the way that you think about it? Things are going to stay the same. They're not going to get worse. So it doesn't, you know, just do it. Um, as far as your love life goes, single Leo's. They're saying this is a month where you should be very open to possibilities. Somebody might come out of the blue, out of nowhere. And so um, this is an area where some of you need to shift your ways of thinking about things. Some of you are of this mindset, like, I need to go out and chase um, a partner, right? Like lions, we're hunters. So I'm going to go out and find somebody that's exciting to me and catch their attention and captivate them and make them mine. And it's kind of like somebody might just pop up out of nowhere and contact you. Okay. So be open to those possibilities. They're saying this might not be for some of you a forever type of person. It might not be your happily ever after. Um, but it's still a situation that'll teach you to be more receiving of love and will boost your confidence to help prepare you for that forever person. Now, for some of you, it might actually be. Um, for those of you who have learned a lot in relationships about yourself and about your patterns and, you know, moved on from things that don't necessarily serve you well, um, this could be the forever match. But for the rest of you, it's more like, okay, here's like a couple things to boost my confidence, to remind me of where I need to focus my energy and finding a partner and almost like training you for that forever person. Um, some of you are just not like really feeling it this month, that whole idea of dating, but you should still be open to opportunities that might come out of nowhere because you have no idea where they're going to go, okay? Um, for those of you who are coupled it says, this is a really lucky month for you in love. Your partner will kind of serve as a lucky charm. So it might be a good month to go gamble together. They can make your life better in so many different ways, actually, this month. Um, even if you're not having an awesome financial month, maybe they get some sort of windfall or some sort of bonus or promotion, and then you both benefit from it. This is a month of increased, um, a lot more physical like cuddling and stuff, actually, it's not necessarily sex. It's more like um, effect, like physical affection, like cute holding hands and cuddling and little kisses and stuff here and there. They're saying it's not necessarily the most fun month for you. It's not like about going out and getting wild. Um, and there might even be some things that kind of hurt or are painful or disappointing, but it's not necessarily directed 
um, towards the relationship. They're just things that kind of happen in the outside environment that create an opportunity for you to more closely bond. So this would be a horrible and extreme example. I hope this doesn't happen to any of you, but let's say you have a family member that dies, okay? Oh my gosh, that's really disappointing. It's super heartbreaking, but the way that my partner shows up for me to be there as a person to listen, to talk, to let me cry on their shoulder, to cuddle me and support me through this, actually it helps create a stronger bond between us. And so that's the kind of vibe that I have um, for you guys. So you might not have the best month, but your partner um, is likely to have a better month than you, and they're likely to very much show up and validate everything that you need, like your emotional needs, in the month of July. So for those of you in undefined relationships, they're saying this is a very exciting month for you guys. Very passionate, exciting. You're going to get out of things, what you put into it. Um, if you're in a third-party relationship, a sort of affair, they're like... Um, you might be kind of changing the way that you think about things as far as like the deception and the lie goes. You might be actually super okay with it um, just because it's so fun and exciting and a little bit dangerous. Now, this might come back to bite you later down the road, but in the month of July, it's super fucking fun and you're just making the most of it. For the rest of you in undefined relationships, um, it's still that lusty, passionate energy. You might be um, seeing that things come very quickly for you. Uh, so it, it's like a very sexual month, but not necessarily like a month where you go out a lot and you're like totally seen. Um, it's not like, you know, going to the nightclub or, you know, going to, on vacations and stuff like that. This is a more balanced kind of a month, but still very lusty and passionate. So that's July, and I can't wait to talk to you guys in August. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!